Good morning, guys. It's Rochelle from Monoline Furniture in very chilly Sydney. It's about half past seven in the morning. It's chilly. So ordinarily, these are the type of drawers that I wouldn't sand back to raw. Um, the reason being that it doesn't have a definite edge. So if I go onto this with a regular sander, I'm going to get some, it's, it's going to flatten out these edges. And then you get sort of sharp points. So I'm going to go in with the Rotex RO90 with a sponge on and see how we go. Because I think these will look really nice sanded back to raw. What I might do with these is keep these and paint them. Because we're going to have big holes in here where these nuts have gone through. So if I was to uh, want to sand these back to raw, but use different draw pulls, that's going to create an issue for me. Because to fill that, yes you can fill it, and yes you can stain over fill, but you still be able to see that circle. So I would have to disguise it with maybe an applique or a transfer or a stencil. That's not the look I'm going for with this. So I think I'll probably keep these draw pulls. Just do something to them. Right, so I'm going to go in with the Rotex. This is the RO90, the smaller one. This has got the same disc on from when I did the top. Um, very little wear on it. No, no clogging. Really good. Right, so I've done the sides on all of the drawers. That was a dream, look at them. Now I'm gonna go in with the big guns and use the Rotex RO150. Um, previously I had the handle on. I've taken the handle off. I'm probably gonna be more comfortable using it like this. I watched a few videos on YouTube as well. And I mentioned that there's lots of attachments that you can get for this and you can do polishing. Well, what I didn't know is you can actually take this handle off as well. So that when you're polishing, you can get right up close and that doesn't get in the way and I guess at that point you don't need the vac because you're not taking stuff off that machine is powerful and honestly this isn't good easy stuff to get off it really isn't now as I'm taking this off I can see that there's fixes that have been done here at some point can you see there's these filler marks so if I was to leave it on its own well and stain it this is still going to show it's not going to look great so I'm thinking what I probably will do is to lay a stencil over it I want to take them all back to raw still that's where my head is at the moment. Who knows if it'll stay there? Probably not. Right, so I'm just gonna give these a quick hand sand. It's really smooth already, to be honest, just with a 120. But I literally will just smooth it like that, literally that much all around. And now it's smooth enough to take the stain. As you can see, they're in a mess. So what I'm gonna do is put a stain on them, then decide from there what I'm going to do, I may put a transfer, I may put a stencil, I'm not sure, but I am sticking with the originals. Right, so I'm going to go with Purico Sepia. This is a really, really nice stain. I used it recently and it gave it a sort of a driftwood look, which I really liked. Just give it a quick stir, a quick tip. 
these transfer applicators they're great to uh, use as stirrers after you finish your transfers so i've already used this on one project and i've used next to none it lasts really well i'm going to apply it with the purico applicator sponge and what i'm going to do because i don't want it too dark i'm going to spray the piece with water so this will give me movement, more movement, and it will in effect water down the stain. And I'm also going to dampen the sponge. And then it's, I just find it's better to have thinner coats so that you can layer it than to go straight in with full strength. And I just love the rustic feel it, it just gives to a piece. So I generally don't wait for it to dry. I will... Uh, just keep going. Obviously you reach a point where you have to let it dry, otherwise you're just wiping it off. But generally, for a little while at least, you can keep going. After this has dried, and I can see exactly what color we're working with, and what I need to do to disguise all these parts, then I'll decide whether I go with a transfer or a stencil. And if I do that on all of the drawers, or just some. Um, so easy to work with this one. They just had some new colours come out too in the paint, so I'm keen to try those. For those who don't know, sorry I meant to mention it, P uh, Purico was one of the brands that are partnering with me. So they've sent these, these products to me. I haven't paid for them, they're partnering with, them, with me to help me support Rise Up, which is fantastic. There's lots of brands on board now. I'm going to be using some of their products in the staging today, so I'll actually show you those and introduce those brands to you too, because they deserve recognition. So that's all the drawers stained and I'm really fine with those filler marks because they're, they're no longer blue and I really like the sepia stain on it. So I'm, I'm going to roll with that. I'm going to use the same drawer pulls. I'm not sure what colour I'm going to make them yet. I'm not sure what colour I'm going to paint the body yet. But I'm going to go and look now and decide. Right, I've decided I'm going with Dixie Belle Silk in the colour Wharf. I haven't used this for ages. So this is, it's sort of a... a a green grey. Initially I sort of would have called it a sage but it's got, definitely got a lot of grey in it. All right let's have a look as we open it. This, you see it's runny on the top, that's normal. That's the top coat. So give it a good stir so that top coat goes all the way through because the silk is an all-in-one paint. I'm using my sleek 38 brush and I haven't stained the top yet. As you know I do that last because I'm messy. I'm going to paint underneath this lip and then I'll clean up that afterwards before I stain. Save me taping, which, you know, I'm not one for taping. Right, time to get some stain on this girl. I'm doing it exactly the same way as I did for the drawers. I'm just going to dampen down the top. I'll do it all over and then I'll probably add more water as I go. So this has got quite a bit of grey in it, so it should go well with the uh, with the wharf. So if you're wondering how much stain you use for a piece like this, I've probably still got about a quarter of it left and this is my second piece of furniture. So I don't think Purico ship directly to the US at the moment, but there are some stockists in Australia that do. So maybe if you, if you wanted to get your hands on some, if you contact Purico, they'll be able to tell you which stockist post it. I have no idea what the postage would be. So there she is ready for me to stage. I ended up painting the existing hardware. So just slick stick, Dixie Bell slick stick to give it something, uh, something to adhere to and then I've just used the wolf, the same colour. Right now I need to stage it so let me get some pieces. So first off we've got this beautiful, um, do you call them electric burners? I'm not sure. That's from Mama's Melts. 
the link to the website will be in the description so i'm going to use this for staging for a couple of videos and then it'll be donated to rise up she's actually given me two of these so thank you so much amy next i've got this clock rattan what do you call that rattan or wicker this is from curious collection uh, again the website will be in the description and this is also going to be donated to rise up after i've used it a few times now this lotus isn't it beautiful so this is from laser art australia it's either six or seven layers it's absolutely stunning my husband wants to keep it but i've told him not to get too attached because this is also going to rise up this is another one from mama's melt that's got my that's my favorite scent now we can't donate candles to rise up for safety reasons so sadly i have to keep this one but i'll take some photos first i think i can get this one on there too this one is another one from laser art australia well that's a wrap guys thanks so much for sticking with me you'll find links to the websites for all those companies that are partnering with me uh, and i'll see you next time thank you so much and have an awesome day take care guys